Hey folks and welcome, Technivorous here. Today we are taking a look at Ultimaker Kira 4.10. This was just released recently and unfortunately a lot of my viewers aren't going to have anything to do with the new features on here because most of them have to do with their subscription service. But nonetheless, let's jump in, take a look at those new features and see what bugs they have fixed today on the Technivorous channel. Hey folks, Technivorous here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but stick around because today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting stuff I don't think you're going to want to miss. So this is the Kira download page. I'll put this link down below in the description, and if you want, you can go ahead and jump over there and download this. If you already have an older version of Kira, when you open it, it should automatically check for updates and let you know at the bottom that this guy is ready to be installed. So I'm opening up Kira right now and it should pop open any second and show us a nice list of new features and bug fixes. And here we are. This is the what's new section. Now a lot of this you're going to be seeing a lot of the professional and excellence. These words right here. These are different versions of Kira that you can actually pay for. So some of this is not going to apply to the standard version. However, most of the uh, things that they have incorporated in Kira are obviously still free. This is slightly concerning because you're seeing a pivot towards a pay-to-play model or what some people might call ransomware or crippledware where you only get some of the features unless you pay for it, which is uh, one of the things Kira is known for is being free and open source, so it's kind of annoying to see this and I'm a little bit disappointed in them, but I respect the fact that they got to try to make money somehow, so if you get the chance and you can afford it, definitely look into those and in fact you can go ahead and click this where it says get enterprise edition and it'll give you some different options and you can try it for free there are a couple other things that they have in there that are pretty good basically this whole setup is really only necessary and worth it if you have an ultimaker printer so for most of us we're just gonna go ahead and skip right over this but it is pretty cool uh, to see that you can now just drag open native CAD files right in the right in the program so basically um, it'll take a bunch of different file types and convert it to an STL and there's also a batch convert and things like that so if you bring in something that's an assembly you can take it apart um, but you do need to download an extension for that so um, support blockers it looks like the printing academy is now available through Kira and you can get some advice and some things that will help with your printing process that could be very very useful um, I think that is also only an expert feature so uh, looks like they have some PETG profiles now for the Ultimaker 3 which is one of their printers um, this is the main thing right here that I'm interested in with this update so it says thanks to Connie 3s we now added the volumetric flow rate to the preview mode color scheme so now you can see what your flow rate is going to look like for a particular piece of a particular part that you're printing and it will optimize your print strategy displaying it as the flow layer thickness line width and speed so it's pretty interesting new preview mode that we should be taking a look at and basically that is it for the new features there are a bunch of other bug fixes and things like that and you can look over them down here um, most of this stuff though like I said has to do with their premium version so we're gonna take a look at that flow rate preview let's go ahead and drag this out of the way we'll grab an STL here I think yeah, why not that'll do just fine might have to scale it down a bit though let's see 25% way smaller yeah right click center select it there we go okay so Let's slice this bad boy. I'm not sure if I have support on or not. I haven't messed with any of the settings, but we're just basically going to jump right over into preview mode. And as soon as it's done, we'll check out that new flow rate color scheme. So it's on line type right now. Uh, let's check out flow. And it should finish slicing in just a second. And update our view here. All right, and there it is. You can see the flow rate, and this is in speed. So at the top here, it's going relatively slow. Um, these are meters, millimeters cubed per second. Um, and you can see, as we travel through the model, that it's doing the infill at different rates as well. Now, it's obviously doing that quite a bit faster because you're not going to see it. 
but this is a very good visual indication of where you're going to see whoops I scaled it again of where you're going to see the uh, flow basically change in different parts of the model so as it moves slower down here you're going to get a little bit better of a model finish on these parts that are printing slower than on the parts that are printing at a regular speed so it's nice to see that difference represented in a colorful way that is easy to scroll through and see if there's going to be any problems or anything like that so this is a super quick and super simple Kira video guys like I said it looks like they seem to be pivoting to try and get you to pay them some money to use some of their features and I'm not the biggest fan of crippleware so if you notice down here on my bottom start bar I have idea maker open uh, stick around hit that subscribe button and we're gonna be doing a quick run through of idea maker I have used it before but it has been a little while since I launched it so we're gonna go ahead and do a video on that as well if you're interested in looking at other free slicers and seeing what they have to offer this one is definitely one worth checking out that's not to discount Kira uh, it's obviously an amazing platform it's awesome software it works really really well you can see what the size changed it changed the speed of printing these down here so this is a very very handy tool for seeing uh, getting a good visual of your model obviously this isn't gonna print it's got no support but uh, like I said stick around if you want to see that idea maker video and don't forget to leave a like I have a new series going called Kira questions answered so feel free to leave me any questions you have or comments things you'd like to learn on the comments in this video and I will add that to my Kira questions playlist and make a video just for you that's going to be it for this one, guys. Technivorous out. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.